Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today I will show you guys some really cool things that your iPhone can do and you probably don't even know about. Of course, as always, iOS and iPhones are packed with features. A lot of them, most users will never know that they exist and that they can do on their iPhone. And we're starting things off here with the iMessage app. So you probably get a lot of voice messages on your iMessage, but there's a really cool trick that allows you to actually choose the speed to which you want to play your voice messages so here i have a voice message you can see it does have there a play button all i have to do here is tap and hold that play button and i will get this pop-up right here and i have four different choices from 1x up to 2x i can choose the speed at which i want to play this voice message on my iphone on your iphone you know that you can pick up a subject from a photo and turn it into a sticker or just remove the background from that picture but what if that picture has more than two subjects like this one right here now what i will be able to do now is create two different stickers so here i can tap and hold and i can add this to my stickers just like that i can create a new sticker or what I can do is also choose the other subject and it will be of course separated from the other one. I can do lookup for this subject and I can do a lookup for this subject as well. And of course I can add them separately to my stickers. Now a lot of people might not know about this but you can also turn a subject from a video into a sticker. So here I have a video. All I have to do is just pause the video and then tap and hold the subject here and you will basically get the same options right here. You can copy it, you can share the subject from here or you can add it to your stickers as easy as that. So even from videos, you can turn them into different stickers for your iPhone. With the iOS 17 on the spotlight search, you can do a lot more. Like you can see right here, I can just go to the spotlight search and just type meeting, maybe type here 1 p.m. And then it will show me the option here to add this to my calendar. So I don't need to go through the calendar app and create the, this meeting from the there, the event from there. All I have to do is just type it here on the spotlight search and I can just tap add. Now it will show me a pop up here from the calendar app where I can add all the different details as well. Once I'm done with this, I can just add it and I'm good to go here. I don't need to even use the calendar app to create a meeting. As you probably know, on iOS, when you go to Safari and you go to a web page, you will be able to take a screenshot of that web page. Now, you will have two different options. When we go here, we can save the screenshot we just took of that part, or we can go to full page right here, which means that we can save the entire website. Previously, you could save this only as a PDF file. But did you know that with iOS 17, Apple has actually made a change to this and now we can save it as a photo as well. So when you have the dumb button right there, you will now have two different options. You can save it as a PDF, so you can still do that, but you will also be able to now save it as a photo and it will be saved as a single image under the camera roll of your iPhone. Now here's a very useful feature that you probably don't know that you have on your mail app. So with the stock mail app of iOS, whenever you need to share a link, let's say in this case, I want to share the link to my Twitter account. All I have to do is copy my link and then here's the text. This is my account. So instead of having the account text there and then the link here, I can just select the account text right there and tap on paste. Now what that will do is that it turns that account word into the link so it will paste the link on the word and now i can use that of course to actually open that link so you can see from here i can open the link or edit and i remove it from here but of course once the people that i send this email get the email they will just find this word right there and it's linked to my profile Automations on iOS are probably one of the features that most people want to use and it's actually very underrated. We can do a lot of cool things and a lot of very useful things with automations. And here's one of them. So whenever you leave your house, of course, you have your home Wi-Fi. You don't want to connect to other Wi-Fi's which might, might not be that secure. Now, if you just connect to Wi-Fi once, once you get close to it, your iPhone will connect to it automatically. So if you don't want that to happen, you want to connect only to your home or work Wi-Fi. And when you're out, you just want to be on your cellular data. Here's how you can set that up with automation. So you tap on 
automations right there, create a new automation, and then you will have here, leave. So when you go to leave, you choose your location. Your location, of course, with location services turned on, you can set it at your current location. So once you choose your location there, you just select here anytime and then run immediately and then tap on next and right here, search for Wi-Fi and then you will get this, tap on set Wi-Fi and then just switch that to off right there and you're good to go. You tap the dumb button and now every time you leave your work or your house, your Wi-Fi will completely be turned off automatically. And now let's go back again to iMessage and voice messages. So whenever you get a voice message and you feel like it's important, you want to save it, you want to keep that on your device, what you can do with iOS 17 is just tap and hold on any voice message and it will add the ability here to save it to your voice memos. So the voice memos app of iOS, the stock one, there is where you will find this voice message once you have saved it from here. Now the next feature is a very useful one which I've shown on previous videos as well but you might have missed it and I think is super useful. A lot of times when trying to move an app to another page or maybe a widget you will mess up things and will move other apps or just do something wrong that you didn't intend to do then you will have to take your time to actually rearrange your apps. But what you can do with iOS 17 if I just move this app right there but I didn't want to do that all I have to do is just shake the device and it will give me the option here to undo move app undo right there and there it goes back to its place now this will work with basically everything on the home screen here I place that widget there by mistake all I have to do is just do like that again shake the device and tap the undo button and it will go back to its place now normally when you do things like this like move a widget for example here you can see it will mess up your whole like setup here again just do that and you're good to go you tap the undo button and everything will go back to its previous place at the beginning of the video i showed you guys how you can take out stickers from videos well you can do another thing so you know on ios 17 where you can i like just basically zoom in on photos here and it gives you that crop option well you do have that for video as well so if i just want to crop this video you can see it shows me the crop option right there i tap and hold there Let's just do that again, tap and hold on the crop button, and it will give me a few different options right here, like full screen, original, widescreen, and square as well. So I can just tap on one of those, and it will be able to actually crop my video. Once you have done that, it will show you this screen right here, just tap done, and now you're good to go. As easy as that, you can easily crop any video just like you do with photos. With shortcuts on iOS 17, Apple has added a lot of new options for the camera app. So of course you get one icon on the home screen for your camera. You tap that icon and then you will need to switch between different modes. But here's what you can do on your iPhone with iOS 17. You tap the plus button right here and then once you go to add an action, it will show you a few suggestions right here. Most likely you will get the camera suggestions. If you don't, just search for camera right here on the search bar. So here we have all the different modes of the camera app. Now we can create like buttons on the home screen for each of the different modes. Here we have slow-mo, let's just rename this. Just like that, once we have renamed it, we can tap the dumb button. Now what we can do also is choose an icon. So let's just choose the slow-mo icon. There we have it, now we tap the dumb button and now we're good to go. We have created that, so now let's just add it to the home screen. And there we have it on the home screen. So we don't need to no longer to go to the camera app and try to quickly switch to the slow mo. All we have to do is run this and we're directly on the slow mo mode. And last but not least, we're talking about passwords. So when you go to the settings app of your iPhone and you go under the password section, you want to create a new password. Here's what you can do. You can add, of course, the name of the website, the username and the password and different notes as well. But now you also are able to add a title. So you can tap right there and choose a title for that password. Previously, it would just show the name of the website. Now you can add any name there, any title, maybe a name of a website or a company, whatever you want. You can now add it right there at the top. So that's basically it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. And of course, subscribe for more videos like this. And I will see you on the next one.